Benvenuta. Welcome to my channel. St. Paul tells us that all things work for the good for those who love the Lord. This is certainly the case with Don Dolinda, charged with false accusations and prohibited from all his priestly faculties for nearly two decades, was a severe and unjust punishment. Yet, it gave Don Dolinda ample time to research, study, and write commentaries on all 73 books in the Holy Bible, for a total of 33 volumes in the series. The title he gave to each volume was La Sacra Scrittura, Sacred Scripture, with the subtitle Psychology, Commentary, Meditation. All his commentaries provide psychological insight, in-depth commentary, and inspiration for daily meditation. Truly a literary and biblical treasure written for our generation and generations to come. The English translation of these valuable volumes will be forthcoming in the near future. At first, Don Dolindo did not use his own name, but instead a pen name, Den Coenel. He tells us why. As for my pen name, during the writing of my sacred scripture volumes, I have tried to remain as hidden as I possibly could. It is for this reason that I have used a pen name instead of my real name. I took the name Den Coenel. It was my wish that the name should start with a D, like Delindo along with something that signified the nobody, God's priest. I asked a qualified Hebrew scholar, and he gave N, spelled A-I-N, as the translation for nobody, nothing. Don Dolindo tells us how the idea for the sacred scripture commentaries came about. In 1925, I was introduced to a poor wayward priest with the hope that I might speak to him and draw him back to God. He was well educated, having studied at the Pontifical Gregorian University. A number of things, however, had led him to a deep aversion for sacred scripture, united with a corresponding hatred for the divine office. He was living a disordered life, brimming over with hatred of the church, the pope, and the priesthood itself. After our first meetings, I began to impress upon him the necessity of confession with a good priest. He had not confessed for many years, even though he still continued to celebrate Mass. Then, in order to help him better understand the beauty of sacred scripture and therefore of the divine office, I began to meditate with him on the book of Genesis, along with a few other persons, namely those who had introduced me to him. Those present took notes on what I said and handing them to me afterwards urged me to elaborate on them so that they could be used for an apostolate. It was thus that I began to distribute them among learned persons, many priests, and noted theologians. With increasing frequency, many began to request these teachings, and, as they became more widely distributed, I began to receive exhortations from every part of Italy to organize them and have them published in a systematic way for the good that it could do to souls. It was absurd to think that they could be published, given my humiliating circumstances and lack of means. Despite this, the good souls who had taken the notes 
put everything they owned into this work. It was the widow's might, and the bounty of God supplied the rest. The work commenced, and Providence continued to provide for us. Every week we would be penniless, and every week, somehow, a means to pay the typographer would turn up. In 1930, the first volume was issued, with the second volume quickly following. The reception for these first volumes was encouraging and resulted in many conversions. Lay people, priests, bishops, and cardinals all voiced enthusiastic endorsements for these initial volumes of sacred scripture commentary. The priest who had been the incentive to begin these meditations on sacred scripture was himself the very first to undergo a radical conversion. He immersed himself in a life of penance and prayer, full of fervor and sacrifice. Arrivederci till next time. Gesù pensa ci tu. Jesus, you take over. Take care of everything. Jesus, I trust in you.